All right, Isaac Hardman, mate. Big uh, good fight for you against Rowan Murdoch uh, this weekend. Uh, tell us how the fight came about. Mate, um, I was meant to be fighting a guy named Emilica Vidal, who's um, you know, in the top 20 in box rack in the middleweight division, across the sanctioning bodies. And we got over to the States two days in, and we heard he took a not a softer fight, but another fight in America, a safer fight for him. I wouldn't travel to Australia fighting an Australian on Australian promotion, so good on him. Um, and yeah. They, the boys didn't want to put, put me on, and then I said, mate, I need to get on because Blair's burning money, I'm burning money in the pocket, and I've got to get something back at the end of this trip. It was our first trip over in Vegas, and um, Ron Murdoch come across, and I said, yep. I didn't even think twice about the weight class up, and the once upon a time he was number one in the world, and everyone knows who he is. Yeah, get me on, let's go. So it was Ron Murdoch. And tell us about the camp you had overseas, obviously sparring some big names. Unbelievable. Uh, first time over there, we went three weeks. Uh, landed Split T Boxing where Tim was, Eric uh, from Split T Boxing set us up with he's sparring to take us to top rank, first day in top rank, you're Shane, uh, sparring with Shane Mosley Jr, Bang did that, got an invite to his gym, Bones Adam, and then uh, I think they expected me to get you know knocked around a bit against Shane and you know on the way out there, fist bumping, well done Aussie, coming back, coming back, yep, and then um, then Caleb Land reached out, Breadman reached out to Blair, got his number. Can you come to DLX and do some sparring? Yes, I'll be there. Um, and it was just a, just a, I, I believe I'm there. I, I fully believe it, but you don't know until you fully know. Like, I'm a big, big fish in the little pond here in Australia. We got a little pond of boxing, up, you know. Every fish is a big fish here, you know. Um, over there, fuck, we're like a tadpole in the ocean. So, um, just to know I'm, after the first round with Caleb, I said, back to I said, mate, this is just another bloke with a fucking pair of gloves and a headgear on. I, I belong here. I feel like I'm, I wasn't a step behind. I thought for sure I would be against Caleb Plant. I went in there expecting that. And I held my own. The people in there, Stitch Duran was there. He gave me massive praise after. Um, they wouldn't have been watching that thinking, fucking hell, Isaac shouldn't be in there. It was just good competitive sparring. And if anything, Caleb was running out of steam towards the end of the fight. And they're all super middleweights. And it just happened to be all my sparring was against super middleweights over there, all heavier, um, which perfect for Raul Murdoch. He's got that, I would say, American style, you know, a lot of movement, which is, which was perfect for all the sparring I did. So you're as good as who you surround yourself with. And I've been at the top for the last five weeks over in America. And um, I think that'll be what the difference is come Sunday. And obviously you had that disappointing loss to uh, Michael Zarafa, but you bounced back well against Bo Harder. So you're looking to do the same in this fight? For sure. Um, I didn't have to prove anything to myself with that bounce back fight. I did myself the disservice of beating myself on that night. The racial accusations coming out and all that rubbish. Um, that speaks of his character, not mine. Um, but yeah, I bounced back with Bo Harder's knockout of the year. And everyone knows who Ryan Murdoch is, probably because of the way he looks. Uh, where he runs up and down Gold Coast with his shirt off. And at one point he was number one in the world against, he was fighting for a title in that against Zach Parker. So um, everyone knows Ron Murdoch, everyone now knows me. Uh, and I think the narrative is the muscles and the looks will get him across the line. And you know, the runs he has on the board, you know, he's at 28 fights, I've got 14. But you see, um, you see the people he's fought, see the people I've fought, and then come talk to me. So, um, but he's a credible opponent. I have a lot of credit to him for taking the fight. He probably didn't have to. Um, so he's credible, but I'm incredible. What are your thoughts on the uh, main event? Tim wins. Tim wins. Tim beats Tony Harrison. I think a lot of... Man, even my experience over there. For instance, little story, top rank. We walked in. I was set on doing my uh, 10 rounds at top rank first gym. And they got referees in there. And he looked at me four rounds, mate. I said, nah, 10. And he laughed at me and rolled his eyes. And expect me, because I'm an Aussie, that ah, fuck, he's going to get belted. And I, I had the better of Shane that afternoon. That's why I got called back. Um, so I think this crew, this Amer these Americans, that's the narrative they write, is the Aussies are just tough. Tim's fucking incredible, and I can attest to that, because I've been in the round ring with him for over 100 rounds. And that was back then. I've heard stories now of people I was sparring that he was putting down. So he's a super welterweight, I'm a middleweight. Um, so I think they're thinking it's going to easy beat. Tim's just tough, mate. Tim's fucking incredible, and he'll show that come Sunday. I think his boxing ability is underrated as well. For sure, and you don't know until you're in there with him, you know. Uh, his distance control, incredible. Um, people say he's not a big puncher, but fuck, he's, he doesn't miss. And, you know, I'd rather get hit with one big shot than fucking 15 decent shots, you know what I mean? You shake off that one big shot, but 
15 constant shots that don't miss fucking really takes its toll. So Tim's good, man, and he, he's just got to wake up everyone. I think everyone here in Australia believe it, but again, everyone's a big fish here in Australia. So he's now on the world level, and he'll show that. Good luck, brother. Thanks, mate. Appreciate it.